Hey, it's a Hubble Collector here. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at the two panel death card of Anton Schwartzmuller. Uh, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. So going from the top of the card there, prayerful memory of my dear husband and father, our good son and brother, Anton Schwartzmuller from Aschenau, who was an Unteroffizier in a Grenadier Regiment, bearer of the Iron Cross Second Class, the Infantry Assault Badge, the Wound Badge, and the Eastern Front Medal, participant in all military campaigns, who sacrificed his life for his beloved homeland on July 12, 1944, during the heavy defensive battles in the East at the age of 27. Uh, honor his memory. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to find a casualty record for Anton. However, I, I did find a hit for him on Volkswagen. According to the Grave Registry, he was born on April 20, 1917 in Aschenau, and was killed in Pinsk, Belarus. Now, at this point, July of 1944, Operation Bagration had started several weeks ago, and at this point, Army Group Center is getting decimated and rolling back across the entire front. So, given everything that was going on, you do see quite a few guys that end up not having their details recorded simply because of the confused state that was going on at the time. So, regardless of what unit Anton was a part of, he was certainly killed during this uh, Soviet onslaught that was happening at the time. Now, moving to the bottom of the card here. You little stars, I'm emptying my heart to you. You'll be happy to bring my wishes home. Tell my wife when the pain weighs on her, I have acquired the highest happiness. And tell my loved ones that their hearts don't break. Dying for the fatherland is a sacred duty. You little stars, you have heard my wishes. The last greetings to you from the enemy country. Dying for your fatherland is beautiful. O oh Lord, give him eternal rest. And moving to the back of the card here, we have a nice full-page photo of Anton. And then at the bottom, uh, pray for me, I died for you too. And we can actually see his infantry assault badge there as well as his ribbons for the Iron Cross and I believe the Eastern Front Medal. So because he was a bearer of the Eastern Front Medal, that means uh, he was a veteran of that first winter on the Eastern Front from 41 to 42. And given that we have the line that he was a participant in all previous campaigns, it's safe to assume that Anton had probably been in the military for several years by that point, uh, probably taking part in at least the French campaign, possibly the Polish campaign as well. And had survived basically the entire brutality of the Eastern Front up to this point. And then when that hammer blow of Operation Bagration hit Army Group Center, uh, that was where he would actually end up losing his life. So overall, really interesting card. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below. Love hearing from you. Uh, thank you all for watching. Happy collecting. And I'll see you all again very soon.